Hey, what is up, guys? I'm Krishir back with another video, and this video is the Triac video. It is a tutorial video about the BT136. This is the BT136. I ripped apart a circuit some time back, and I found this puppy inside. And uh, so I thought, let's share some knowledge. Uh, so this is what the diagram of this MOSFET or the Triac, you may say, looks like. Uh, this is the original thing. Uh, there are three pins: analog one, uh, sorry, uh, pin one, pin two, and the gate. Uh, in this diagram, we see the gate A1, A2. Uh, this is basically used for switching circuits. Switching in circuits, uh, something like what the relay does. So suppose we have to make a project. Uh, let me make some schematics right here. So, for example, we have an Arduino. So this is an Arduino. And we have to interface this Arduino with a, say, 220 volt lamp. So, what interface or what interlink would we use right here there are two options the first is the old one which is the relay this one and the second one is the triac so we have we do already know about this but we will today know about this so what this is uh, basically we'll see a uh, main circuit diagram or something like that so in a circuit say we have to control a lamp using this so we have this 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 is the gain this is the a1 and this is the a2 so Firstly, uh, we have to connect a lamp, a signal generating device, which here is the Arduino. This Arduino will be connected to the gate. This is the Arduino, which will be connected to the gate. Now, uh, the switching will occur in between A1 and A2. So for example, we have an AC source right in here and the lamp is here. We will connect the AC source one terminal to the lamp, the other terminal to probably A2 and the other terminal to A1. So this, these three things are connected to three different processes. So when the Arduino gives in plus 5 volts or some voltage like this in here, in here or in here, these two are connected. So these two are using an imaginary cycle. These two are connected and the current starts to flow and your lamp goes on. So this is how this works. Instead of this, we can also use an opto isolator. So, for example, this is an opto isolator. So, this is an opto isolator. For using this opto isolator, there are six pins in the opto isolator. Wherein this is no connection, and here this is no connection, this is minus, and this is plus. These two will be connected to A1 and A2. This will be connected to gate and this will be common. This opto isolator will now connect these two when a signal is received in the gain. So basically, let's come to a conclusion. We have this. We have to drive a lamp using this and an Arduino. We use this right here. Okay. So the first part this terminal which is a1 will be connected 
टूव द लैम्प डायरेक्टली द मिडल पिन विच इज द ए टू ए टू ए टू विल बी कनेक्टेड टू अ पावर सप्लाई दिस वन एंड द थर्ड पिन विल बी कनेक्टेड टू द आरडुनो सो वी हैव द थिंग राइट हियर दिस विल बी कनेक्टेड यूजिंग द गेट एंड ए वन एंड ए टू विल बी कनेक्टेड टू द लैम्प सो वी हैड द लैम्प इन ए टू एंड दिस विल बी कनेक्टेड टू ए सी मेन्स विद ए वन नाउ वेन वी गेट अ सिग्नल ऑफ फाइव वोल्ट और एनी प्लस वोल्टेज इन द गेट टर्मिनल वी विल गेट एन आउटपुट एंड अ कनेक्शन इन दिस ए वन एंड ए टू गेट कनेक्टेड दीज टू टर्मिनल्स एंड देन द लैम्प ग्लोज दिस इज बेनिफिशियल over the relay thing because when you have to switch on something you have to continuously give power to the electromagnets in this relay which is not so in the case and very less power is dissipated also in the triac so here we have the triac say yes this is the triac this is the a1 this is the a2 and this is the gate a1 and a2 are also connected when a2 and g that is the gate is connected so if we have a switching circuit wherein these two are connected to the further circuit then these two when connected will connect these two which is basically an application of this only so this is how the bt136 the triac works if you have any queries put them down i'll answer them surely i will try to help because i am also new with this variac Uh, the triac so thanks for watching if you liked the video give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is akash signing off